Talk is this your girl Winter. Right now, we are in Big Daddy's with R&B singer Shirley. How are you, mama? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, let me just tell you, I'm really excited to have you here. Um, there's a buzz going on about you. Right now, you have you have a song out that you created with Lil Wayne called Love You Right, correct? Exactly. exactly. So I want to know, how did that song come about? Lil Wayne, that's a big deal. How did that come about? That's a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Um... Lil Wayne actually heard the record. I did the record almost maybe a year ago, and he heard the record um, with Joe, and he thought it was dope. Fat Joe? Fat Joe. Okay. I mean, he's not really fat no more, so I just call him Joe. But we call him the medium him Slim Joe. Medium Slim Joe. That's what I call him. Medium Joe. All right. Medium Joe. <laughs> he's on his way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he um, Wayne heard the record. He got on it, and it was like, all right. And he loved it. He loved it. He well, loved I it. heard it, and I loved it. Thank okay. You. So basically, um, Lil Wayne heard it, he loved it, and he just jumped on the track. Did he call up your people? He was like, I got to get on this track. How did that go about? You know, Wayne Wayne is Wayne. He's just like, all right, you know, so he went and jumped on the record, and then I heard it for the first time. I went by the studio, they played it for me, and I was just like, ah. <laughs> Wayne's on my track. I'm in the game. You know, so, yeah, it was exciting. That was really a height of um, a high point of my career. That's wonderful. Now, Love You Right is basically a song Basically, in the song, you're saying that I can love you better than the girl you have now type of song, correct? Yeah, yeah, but um, the reality of it is that I'm not, it's no home wrecker myth right. going on over here. And I think that at the end of the day, sometimes you do find a good guy that's in a bad situation. And um, likewise, you find some guys that's trying to take you as a female out of a bad situation. But I mean, it's just me saying, yeah, I mean, I can love you right. I ain't hating. Right. Yeah, I ain't. You know, she's a 10, but I'm a quarter. You uh -huh. know, it's one of those. <laughs> so you write all your songs. You've been writing since 13, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you write all your songs. I write, well, it's kind of hard to write all your songs when you're signed to Rico Love, who writes all these songs on the radio. So um, I write um, a lot of my records, and Rico also writes a lot of my records, and sometimes you write together. Just about celebrating life, celebrating being a woman, celebrating being sexy and confident, celebrating being sad and heartbroken, but touching all of it. Right. And that's important. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to thank you for that because let me tell you something. There are some artists, I'm not going to name any names, yeah. that I listen to all their albums and it's always like, you know, I'm crying over you. Yeah. You cheated on me with my sister. How could you have done that? Exactly. I'm like, nobody even bought you a rose? Right. Nobody took you to the movies, mama? Like, what yeah. happened? And even as a woman, <laughs> even as, that's right, nobody bought you a rose? Seriously. Where's the good time? Go get a rose. I'm saying, like, <laughs> no, but, uh, <laughs> no, but really, I think that that's a problem. Like, I think that we kind of bask in that sadness. And, and what are we saying as women when we do that is that our whole world revolves around a guy and then when it crashes, like, we crash. Like, that's not what it's about. Like, we, we're, we're past that. Like, we're running these places. We're running these industries a lot of the, a lot of the time. So I think that that's the message that I want to put out. You know, and hence my album title, Title Like a Woman. You're one out of ten children. Yes. That's what I heard. Yeah. How is it growing up in a family one out of ten children? Well, you know, the I guess the wow factor part of that is probably being one out of ten kids with the same parent. And I think a lot of people have a lot of brothers and sisters spread about, but you have a whole basketball team. I mean, nobody messes with you. Let me tell you something. That is a beautiful look. I, like, give your mom a shout out and your father a shout out for me. I would definitely give them a shout out. They've been together since they were 14 or 15. And a lot of times people ask me, you know, what's different about my story. And I think that in itself is kind of different because you have some people that come from parents, you know, that were on drugs or some parents that were. And there's a lot of us out there that they, we did have good parents. I mean, that's the goal. And so I don't want to try to be something that I'm not. I have great parents. Right. You're from Florida. And how is it in Florida? No, wait, hold on. First of all, let me just get more specific. I'm from Miami. Miami, Florida. I just I just went out to Miami like maybe like two months ago. Yeah, good time. What part of Miami? Did you South Beach. The other, see, that's the other. That's not the real Miami. Okay. Let me go on the record now to say that's not the real Miami. That's the other side of the bridge. So what's the real Miami? Real Miami is Overtown, it's Booth, it's Carroll City, it's Opelika, it's Liberty City, it's those areas. Rick Ross is from Carroll City, that's where I'm from. Okay. You know, that's the heart of Miami. The other side is for the tourists, it's for people, when nice people like you come over, we clean up house. We clean up house. Let me tell you something. Let's say, you make it nice. She, you're in my city now, right? Okay? Now this right here is for the tourists, you know, for people like you. I'm from the Bronx, okay? You know? And let me just, we just made a joke okay. that you represent the Bronx on weekends because yeah. you roll with Fat Joe? 
No, I mean, it's medium I'm, jump. I'm saying I'm from the Bronx on weekends. Like, I get my Bronx talk on, you know what I'm saying, son? You know. No, no, the, the boy corrected me yesterday. He said it's not son. It's like, yo, boy, my boy. What's up, my boy? No, that's not how we do it. That's not how we do it. But you can represent. Throw your big exes off. As long as you my represent, just, we're going to let you ride. My just from, from New York. All my people's out from New York. Shout out. Percy. Isn't she cute? Look, fellow Bronx people, hit me up. If you think that she had the Bronx accent correct. No, don't play hit me, me up. Kid. Don't play me, kid. I can't. No, that's not it. I can't. You don't see me trying to do a Florida accent, right? Because I know my lane, okay? I know my lane. <laughs> You're doing big things. You have a mixtape that's out. Who's on this mixtape? When can we expect to hear this mixtape? Well, on the mixtape, I currently have Brianna on it. And um, I'm going to get Trina on it only because I feel like it's only right she's from Miami. Um, I'm thinking about Joe. Joe X right there, maybe. Rico Love would definitely be on it. Um, But yeah, I'm currently working on it still. You should expect more of more ballads, more singing, singing, because um, I pride myself on that. Like, you have a lot of people that come out, you know, they're cute, they can dance, they can hold an old. I sing and sing, so I want to really get that off in my next day. It's, by the way, it's called Ground Zero. Um, and that, yeah, and that title was actually inspired by me being up here in New York this trip. Like, I actually had to revamp it because um, I feel like, shout out to New York, you know? Told you I was at New York at heart. Um, yeah, so it's called Ground Zero. It's just building from the ground up. So the first time you've ever opened up to someone on stage live, like, how do you prepare for this moment? This is kind of nasty, but I'm just going to say it because it is what it is. I get, like, the bubble guts. Like, I, my stomach be, like, doing this crazy stuff when I get ready to <laughs> That's nasty. Let me tell you something. I mean, the bubble guts is very normal. I had the bubble guts before this interview, but let's really? move on. <laughs> All right. What's up with the bubble guts? But no. <laughs> That's so nasty. My cameraman shaking his head like, oh. I'm playing, I'm playing. No, but um, yeah. So that's what I used to do. And then I just started like, I started really just, I gassed myself up. I really like, be in the mirror and be like, oh, you finna kill this girl. Oh, they ain't ready. Like, I really talk myself up. I sound stupid. I look stupid, but it works. It works. It works. All right, so there's this girl and she's feeling in music. So, her name is Nzinga, and I just, every week what we do is we give a shout out, we have a celebrity give one of the real talkers a shout out. So, I would love if you gave Nzinga a shout out. I would love to give Nzinga a shout out. Hey girl, how you feeling? You feeling sexy? You're sounding sexy on Facebook. <laughs> Hi, how you doing mama? There you go, that's for you Nzinga. And remember, we will always allow the celebrities to give you a shout out, so make sure you keep giving us your input. Yep. Thank you so much. We're definitely looking out for you. Thanks. And could you please just let us how, know how we can get in contact with you on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that? Absolutely. You can find me on Twitter at Sherlise101, C H E R L I S E 101. On my Facebook, it's Facebook Music, YouTube, Division One, well, Official Division One, Sherlise09, or Official Sherlise. I have a whole bunch. And um, yeah, I think that's it. You're adorable. Thank You're adorable. You. Listen, real talkers, make sure you keep an eye out for Charlize. She's yeah. cool, she's down to earth, and she's doing her thing out there. And we're definitely watching you. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. Thank you, y'all. Keep an eye out. Peace out. What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Charlize, and I am keeping it winter year-round. We ain't got time for that other stuff. We got to keep it chilly around here, so stay tuned. But I know she don't love you right She don't kiss you right She don't touch you right And I can give you everything that you want tonight If you want